What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are celebrating 5,000 subscribers. That's right, 5,000 subs after a little over a year and a half. We're very excited, we're very proud, we're very thankful for all you guys supporting the channel. Thank you, I'm gonna give you guys a big thumbs up. So thank you very much, I appreciate it, we appreciate it. And uh, just keep on checking us out and we'll keep on pumping out videos. So tonight, special occasion, we are making teppanyaki steak on the Blackstone. That's right, teppanyaki steak. I am not a teppanyaki chef. <laughs> I do not claim to be, I'm not pretending to be. I'm just trying to have fun with the Blackstone and you guys should too. So everybody have fun with your Blackstone. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I am looking forward to it tonight. So uh, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it fun, make it easy. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And for everybody, hit that thumbs up and comment down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. So first up, we are gonna make our ginger dipping sauce. We've got some fresh ginger root there that we got from the grocery store, very inexpensive. Just wanna grate this out. Uh, you want about one tablespoon of some minced ginger root right there. And this is gonna give it a ton of flavor. Then we've got about a quarter cup of diced onion. Um, about a half a lemon's worth of juice. Uh, soy sauce there, about a quarter cup. About a couple squeezes. <laughs> Uh, about a quarter teaspoon of sugar, white sugar, and then some white vinegar, about another quarter teaspoon. Right there. And that's it. You want to mix this together. Now, just stirring it is not going to get it to the consistency that you want, so you got to want to put it in a uh, food processor, or in my case, I use a stick blender, which works awesome. And that's the consistency you're looking for right there. And that's that's a sauce right out of Benihana's right there. That's kind of what it looks like, and it tastes phenomenal. All right, next up, we are going to make our garlic butter. You want unsalted whipped butter. You're going to use about half of that tub, which is about four ounces. And then you want some squeezed garlic about four good squeezes <laughs> or four cloves whatever you want to call it you can add some black pepper and then stir this up as best you can this is, takes a little bit of time and we're going to speed it up right here and then after it's done this is kind of what it looks like so we add our soy sauce about an ounce or so. You don't want to add it too much at a time, just a little bit at a time. And this is kind of what it looks like once it is done. And it is awesome, by the way. And here's our fresh veggies. We got some zucchini. We've got some onions. And we've got some big, beautiful white mushroom caps. And look at these steaks. These are some choice Angus New York strip steaks. Look at the marbling on there. Oh, they are going to taste phenomenal. So our Blackstone is heated up. We put down a little bit of oil and just get this thing prepped up. And put our onions down first. All of our veggies, really. We're going to start with some onions. And you notice here we have them cut all together. Again, I am not a teppanyaki chef. Uh, just kind of trying to do some of the stuff that I've been researching and watching online. And this is kind of how I see them doing it. I am not going to try to make any kind of volcano or choo-choo train or anything like that. Uh, because just kind of getting through this alone will be enough for me as long as it tastes good. So here in the spirit... I try to keep the balance of the food. Three onions, three zucchinis, and three rows of mushrooms. Look at that. I like it. That's it. You can hear the sizzle. 
Here we're going to put some fresh, uh, some, some salt, fresh ground salt. Some fresh ground pepper. And that sizzle is going nicely. And that's it. You want to let them sit for a good four or five minutes. It takes a little bit of time to get these going. And then once they are going for a little bit, we want to check underneath maybe give them a turn there you go you can see they're getting done underneath and this is my new uh, I bought a new fork a carving fork as well as a knife and I will put the link in the description below from Amazon and they worked great <laughs> as you can tell I'm new with these so again not a teppanyaki chef, just kind of having fun and kind of figuring my way through. And let me tell you, I had a blast. So here's some of that garlic butter. We put it down next to our vegetables. And this is something I learned also by watching some of these chefs. Is you, you know, a lot of these guys put it down and then just kind of move the food around. So uh, just to get it underneath and if they fall apart like this did <laughs> you just put it back together no big deal but just to get that butter flavor underneath you kind of want to move the veggies around a little bit keep them in line make them looking good check our mushrooms they're looking good underneath So here we go. Here's the the test. I start cutting the veggies. And that's the new knife I was telling you about. Again, link in the description below. Worked great, by the way. Look how it slices through there like it's nothing, like it's paper. So this part was fun. <laughs> I had a good time doing this. Just slice these suckers up. So here we're going to add some more of that butter over here on the mushrooms and we're going to mix these up. Again, I'm using the fork. I'm used to using two spatulas, which is actually not very easy to do. So this was actually pretty easy for me compared to the two spatulas. So I, I kind of enjoyed this. So you can already see the color on those mushrooms just looking very nice. So you just want to stir them up, let them chill, make sure everything is turned so we get color on all sides. Come on, there you go, looking good. And I give them a little bit of, a uh, little bit of water here just to steam them up a little bit. No need to cover them though at this point. And then here we go. We're going to cut up our zucchini. Look at that knife. Just slides through there like butter. Again, <laughs> not as nice and neat as a tipidaki chef, uh, but slices through the veggies. No problem. Looks great. Now we're going to mix up our veggies. Oh, look at the color on the bottom of those onions. Looking beautiful, smelling beautiful. I can't tell you how fun this was making this. So, that's it. We cooked these up. And this is such a quick dish too. So we move our mushrooms over a little bit. Off to the... Uh, the, the side where it's not as hot again the 22 inch only has 
two burners so you know don't have the luxury of having one completely off over to the right and then on in the middle uh, but the pro of this griddle is you can take it with you so and as easy as this was I could definitely see cooking this at a campsite at the beach at a sporting event how cool would that be <laughs> make teppanyaki steak at a football game eventually when we start uh, being able to, to tailgate again so anyway so veggies are off to the right we just cleaned up the griddle and it's time for our New York strips you can hear that sizzle and we want to sear these up they're not that thick it's probably about three quarter inch thick steaks but the marbling was beautiful I could not pass them up so again some uh, some salt some fresh ground pepper And just like the technique that we used before, we're going to put down a little bit of oil on the sides of these. And then we're going to use our spatula and our fork to just kind of move them over a little bit. Get them nice and uh, oiled up. Not too much, but just enough. And then just let them get that crust. This did not take that long. The, I left them on there for about maybe a minute or two. And then I decided to turn them. So I'm checking on the veggies. They're looking great. I decided to turn off the burner on the right, as you can see. Because I don't want these to get all mushy and soggy. So I'd rather just kind of... And it'll stay hot there for a while. So the steaks... I check them underneath, just give them a quick peek, and I think they're time to turn. And they are. Look how beautiful that sear is. Looks very nice. Same with that one. And we just want to kind of let this uh, chill out, but we're going to give it a little bit more flavor with some more of that garlic butter right here. Oh, yeah. Same technique. Just put it around the sides, and then we're going to move the steaks right on top of them and move them around, just like that. Oh, <laughs> look how easy that is. And it gets all over, nice and evenly coated. I love that. That's something I learned by uh, doing the research for this video. So it does not take long before we slice these up. Maybe about another minute. And then you can always cook them longer once they're sliced up. Depending on if you want them well done or medium rare or whatnot. So here we go. Here's my first attempt. And did not quite get through the, the fat cap. <laughs> Alright. Good thing I don't work at Benihana. <laughs> I probably wouldn't last a day. But again, having fun, experimenting, first time doing this, so I am getting better as I go down the steak, kind of. <laughs> you can see the knife is super sharp. The technique is not so sharp, but <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have two left hands here. But you know what? I, I, I will definitely improve, I'll tell you that much. And I am having a blast doing this. So we go to the second one. And kind of the same thing at the beginning there. It's a learning curve. What can I tell you? We are almost done. And... I was going to cut them both the uh, long ways as well. And I said, you know what? Let me just <laughs> leave it as is. And they came out great. 
So I just kind of decided to put them back together like that, but they're sliced. So they're going to cook a little more evenly on the inside. They're looking good. And they are just about done. Let's go check them out. Look at this beautiful teppanyaki steak with some veggies and some yum yum, which I've made this yum yum before. Check it out up here, over here, somewhere. I'll put the link. And this awesome ginger dipping sauce. Oh, I cannot wait. The New York strip steak looks beautiful, perfectly medium rare. Let's give it a quick close up. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. All right. So once again, 5,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for the support. I'm, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to take a bite because <laughs> this is looking too good. I've got to dip one of these pieces of steak in this sauce here. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 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 That is so tasty. So flavorful. I am a big Yum Yum fan. So I'm going to put some of this on here on the veggies. And we're going to try some of these veggies right here. Here we go. Some onions. Mmm. So sweet. You can taste that garlic butter. Oh. That is ridiculous. Look at these mushrooms. Absolutely fantastic. Hold on. I gotta finish my steak. I would not be doing you justice if I did not. Mmm. So juicy. So tasty. Absolutely delicious. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.